Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the last video of our video series showing you how to go ahead and create a game using Unity and ThirdWeb's gaming kit. In this last video, we are going to continue off of the project that we've been building in the past three videos. And what we're gonna be doing this time around is when someone doesn't have an NFT to access our game, we're gonna give them an option to go ahead and claim that NFT directly in our game without having to go to another website or to our third web dashboard to go ahead and claim that NFT. Everything can be seamlessly done through the Unity game using third web's gaming kit. So we are again going to be building off of the previous project we've been working on. If you haven't checked out those videos yet, we'll link it somewhere up here or down in the description below. So you can go ahead, check out and follow those tutorial videos first before jumping into this. Now without wasting any more time, let's jump on the computer here and let's get started. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people People who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel so if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos do us a small favor hit that subscribe button join the 30% on top of that every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web NFT so you can see right here I have my unity project opened up so just to recap really quick we have our connected and disconnected states for when someone connects their wallet once their wallet has been connected, we're going to check if they do or do not have the access key NFT. And if they do, well, let's just toggle this right here. Let me just turn off our disconnected state, turn on our connected state and turn off no NFT. So if they do have our NFT, it'll say you own an access key. And this is where you can go ahead and put your game menu, a start button, uh, whatever it is that the user needs to access to start playing the game. But what we're gonna do is under this no NFT section, we wanna give a way for someone to go ahead and claim the NFT or the access key that is needed to go ahead and play the game. So we're gonna do a couple things. Uh, we're first gonna go ahead and display what our NFT looks like using one of the pre-built prefabs that we get from the third web SDK and then we're gonna add a claim button which we can go ahead and click and it will actually put a transaction through to claim the NFT directly through our unity game so we're gonna do that right now so in this no NFT section this uh, text here we're just gonna delete that text uh, and what I do want to display is the image or the metadata of our NFT. So if we go to uh, the bottom here under our folders, our asset folders under third web, under examples and under prefabs, there are two prefabs, uh, NFT uh, prefab NFT and a prefab NFT loader. We're gonna use the prefab NFT. This is for an individual NFT if we wanna display like the name and image of it. So I'm gonna click and drag that and put it into the no NFT here. I'm going to make it a little smaller yeah, right about there. And then what I'm going to do is in here, I'll select no NFT. I'll right click and I'm going to add a UI component and a button. Now we will move this button down a little. I'll just select the move here, move tool, and we'll move it right to below our image of our NFT. In the right hand section here in the inspector, oh, uh, under in the button, it also creates a text within it. So you might have to drop down the button and go to the text. Uh, but up here, we can say what the button is going to say. So we'll just say uh, claim access key and we will make we'll leave it at actually let's make this font a little bigger at 48 and we'll leave it centered and under the button we're gonna make the button a little bit bigger okay. there we go so drop that down a little bit and there we go so we're gonna display the image of our nft right here in this prefab and then we are going to go ahead and put a button and we'll add a claim function to that button to go ahead and claim the NFT. In order, now this prefab doesn't have any data or NFT uh, in metadata to go ahead and load to it. So that's what we're gonna have to write the script for. And we're gonna have to write the script for the function uh, to claim the NFT as well. So if we go into our scripts here and we open up our start screen script, again, this is our script that we've been working with. So if I scroll down to the bottom, we have our toggle start screen and we have our checking the balance to see if uh, the wallet connected actually holds the 
access key. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the information uh, loaded for our metadata. So I'm going to create a uh, public and we're going to do a uh, async and then void. And then we're going to call this get uh, NFT media. And what we're going to do in here is we are going to get the uh, information from our contract, um, which is our access key contract uh, for token ID zero, which is the only NFT that we have. So in here, we are going to first get our NFT. Uh, we'll just name it NFT. And this is going to equal uh, our contract dot. And this is our ERC 1155. And then we're going to do dot get. And in get, we're going to get token ID zero. So we're just going to put zero there. If you're trying to get a different token ID, you can go ahead and pass the token ID of the NFT that you want. And basically, if we go back to, I'll show you here, our dashboard for our NFT, our, our uh, access key NFT, you can see token ID, you'll see the token ID here. So whatever the token ID is of the NFT you're trying to load, you can just copy that. Now, next, we're going to have to load that information from the NFT that we get into the NFT prefab that we have. So first, we need to go ahead to the top here. Uh, we're going to do public and then we're going to call it NFT. I think it's underscore prefab or prefab underscore NFT. And then we're just going to name this uh, NFT. And let me just double check really quick that it is called uh, prefab NFT. Yeah, so we're going to pass our prefab NFT. And then we're again, we're going to add a prefab NFT. And that's where we're going to go ahead and link the prefab that we put in the uh, no NFT. Date. So now down here. Yeah, so we're going to do an NFT or was it prefab NFT? And then we're going to name this uh, NFT prefab and then we're gonna do script because we're gonna save this script and this is gonna equal um, the NFT prefab that we are gonna drag and connect up here and we're gonna get the script which is the prefab NFT script from that uh, prefab and we're gonna store it into the NFT prefab script and what that's gonna allow us to do here is we'll then be able to do NFT prefab script and then we're gonna do dot and then load NFT and we are going to pass through that metadata that we get from our NFT of our access key. So what this is doing here is in our prefab NFT, there is a, a script and in, within that script, we have the load NFT here. And of course, we have to pass through our NFT and that will go ahead and set the image and metadata name to the NFT that we pass. And that is what we are doing right over here. Now, you can see that we do have an error right now in our game because we don't have contract or it can't find our contract here uh, because we're calling it here, but we don't have it. So in our function here, we're going to go ahead and set our contract to uh, we're going to have to pass through our contract here. Um, and we also do that in our check balance as well. So I'm going to do the same for this. And we're going to take this guy out of the check balance. And up here, we'll go ahead and add our contract in there. And within our check balance, we'll go ahead and pass the contract here. And when the balance is um, zero, right, we're going to set the no NFT state to true. We're also going to go ahead and do our get NFT media and pass our contract through that. So again, um, once it checks the balance, if someone does have the NFT, they'll be able to go ahead and get into the game. If not, we send them over to the no NFT section that we're creating now. Uh, and then it'll go ahead and display the uh, NFT media of our access key, uh, which will it will grab from this down here. So let's go ahead. Let's go back to our can't convert an int to string. Uh, so get uh, token ID should be a string, not uh, integer. So let's go ahead back here. Should compile now. 
There we go. Now, what we do need to do in our start screen here, uh, remember we have our NFT prefab, so we do need to connect it. So we'll go ahead and under the no NFT section, click and drag our NFT prefab over. So let's go ahead, let's go to build and run. And let's just double check that this works. So I'll go ahead, let this build. And once it is finished, we will be back. All right, so our game has went ahead and built. So you can see here that we have our original screen of connecting the wallet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the wallet. It does not have the access key NFT. So we'll go ahead, uh, connect with MetaMask. I'll select a wallet that doesn't have the key. And when we connect, you can see here that we now see our image of our access key and the name of the NFT right up here. And then we also have our claim access key button, but right now it doesn't do anything, uh, but that is what we will be working on next. Uh, but you can see it doesn't show the placeholder prefab anymore and it loads the metadata of our NFT. So we know that is working. Next, what we have to do is go ahead and make sure that we can actually claim an access key when we click on that button down here. So let's head back over to our Unity project here. And what we're gonna do is in this button here, so that claim access key button, if you scroll down, you can add an on-click function. And that is what we're going to do for this button. Uh, we do need to create that function within our start screen script. So I'm gonna come back to our code editor here. We're gonna create a new function. Uh, we're just gonna do public void and we're gonna call it claim access key. So within the uh, claim access key function, I'm just gonna paste this here really quick, but we can go ahead and get the address by checking the wallet connected. Uh, we do need to make sure that the chain ID is correct. So I'm gonna change this to five because our NFT is on Gurley. And what we can do also is uh, because we are, this is gonna be a asynchronous function, uh, we will add async right there before our void. And what we will also have to do is get our contract address and store that in contract. So we can go ahead and put our contract address in there. And what we will do in order to go ahead and claim this NFT is we will do await. Uh, we will do contract. And what we're going to do is within our contract, we can specify that it is a ERC 1155 and we can do a claim function here. And in that claim function is going to take the address that it is going to be claimed to, which is the address of the wallet connected. It's gonna take a string of the token ID that we're claiming, which is zero. And it is gonna take the quantity, which uh, we are just gonna do one because when someone claims it, we just want them to go ahead and claim one NFT. So again, we are just getting the address of the wallet connected, getting our contract, and then running the claim function from our ERC 1155 contract. Um, and we're putting that under a claim access key function. So back in Unity here, no overload for method, claim takes three arguments. Um, oh, sorry, it should be claim two. So claim two, that way we can pass the address into there. So we come back to Unity, everything should be good. Perfect. Uh, on our button, we're gonna go and scroll down to this on click function here. We're going to add, and within this object here, we're gonna go ahead and slide over our start screen uh, because that is the game object that our script's attached to. And in that, uh, we should have our start screen script and if we scroll down, it may be a little small here, but there is a claim access key function uh, that we created that we can go ahead and connect to that. So now when this button on a click, it should run that claim access key function. So we'll go ahead, build and run this project again, and we will double check to see if our claim access key function works. So I'm gonna go ahead and save, let that build, and we'll be right back when it is done. All right, and once our game is built, again, we will connect that same wallet that doesn't have the NFT. We should see our access key metadata here. And when we hit claim access key, we should then get a transaction that pops up within our wallet. Uh, we can go ahead and confirm that and claim it so we can open up our MetaMask wallet here. We'll wait for that claim to go through. 
And once that claim goes through, we can double check our third third web dashboard here. And you can now see that our token went from one to two because now we have two that own it. And if I come back to our game here really quick and I refresh it, when we connect our wallet back, we should be able to now gain access to the game because this wallet now owns an access key. And there you go. We went ahead and used a pre-built prefab to go ahead and load our NFTs and metadata into our Unity game. And we also went ahead and added a claim function for people to go ahead and claim their NFT directly from our Unity game without having to go to our third web dashboard or a website to do so. Now that brings us to the end of this Unity series and how to use third webs gaming kit. I hope you folks found some great value in it and I hope these tutorials were able to go ahead and show you some of the basics of how to integrate Web3 functionality to your Unity games. Now, if you folks really enjoyed this series, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any more tutorials. Also, let us know what you thought about this tutorial series. If you like series like this kind of working on larger projects, let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to join our Discord if you have any questions or need any support on anything. We're always happy to help out and meet wonderful builders like yourself. So again, I hope you folks enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.